Welcome to module nine, lesson two. Our I can statement is, I can find the area of a figure made of combined rectangles. Now, before I even start this lesson, I wanna remind you of how we do an area model. When we complete an area model, let's say four or five times 12, we have two rectangles that we're combining. Okay, we find the area of this rectangle, the area of this rectangle, and we add our partial products to find the total. When we find the area of combined rectangles, we're going to do something very similar. All right, let's take a look at our first problem. <clears throat> Brody and his dad are designing a tree house. The diagram shows the shape of the floor. What is the total area of the floor? You can use addition to find the total area of the combined rectangles. Label each rectangle and use the area formula to find the area of each rectangle. So this little one, you see this dashed line? It's telling us to split our rectangles that way. This little rectangle B will be rectangle A, and this one will be rectangle B. So we'll label here rectangle A, rectangle B. It gives us our formula of area equals length times width. Okay, we have our length of eight feet, our width of six feet. So our area is 48 square, I'm gonna abbreviate, feet. And now let's do B. Our length is 16 feet. Our width is 15 feet. Go ahead and solve for 16 times 15. Pause the video if you need any more time to solve. Right, you should have found that it's equal to 240 square feet. Now in order to find the total rectangle, or the total area of both rectangles, we need to add. So we add our 48 square feet plus our 240 square feet. And we find that we have a total area of 288 square feet. So here's our abbreviation for square feet right there. And the total area is 288. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one. Brody cut an opening for a window in the wall of the treehouse. What is the area of the wall? Now, we have kind of a funky shape right here. And the dotted line is giving us the rest of this rectangle. This is showing us we can use subtraction to find the area of combined rectangles. So this time we're gonna subtract the window. So the green is the wall. This white section here is the window. So first we're gonna find the area of the whole wall, that green section. Well, we know that we have a width of six feet right here. But when we look at our length, it needs to go that entire distance because the wall down here is that full distance. If this section is six feet and this section is two feet, then the total length must be eight feet. So in order to find the area of the wall, we need to find eight feet times six feet. Right, so our area is 48 square feet. Now we need to look at just the window. Okay, we have a width of two feet, a length of three feet. And 
in an area of six square feet for the window. Now we need to subtract that amount of square foot from the whole rectangle. So we have our 48 square feet minus our six square feet will equal how many square feet? 42. So we know the area of the wall is 42 square feet. All right, go ahead and complete the check understanding. Press pause and press play when you're ready to start again. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our work. For number one, the total area was 101 square centimeters. This is where it was a little tricky. We had rectangle A here, how I split it, and then rectangle B. We were given an unknown side length here for rectangle B. I know that this whole side length was nine. So if this was four centimeters, then the bottom had to be five centimeters. For number two, we had the same thing. We had another tricky one where we didn't know the side length here. We knew the entirety of this side would be equal to nine feet. So if we subtracted two feet from that, seven feet would be remaining. So the total of rectangle A was 90 square feet, nine times 10. And the little rectangle we had to take out was 35 square feet, which left us with an area of 55 square feet. 